uh, where do we start, right? I mean, it's just like, holy cow, you know, where do we go from here? Um, we have had the feds just raise the interest rate again. Inflation is out of control. The prices at the grocery store are still rising. We have a lot of different things that are taking place. Um, the war isn't getting any better. And, you know, as far as a lot of these different things that are going to be taking place over the next few months, there's going to be a lot of people that's going to be hurting. And where we go from here is we really need to be doing our due diligence. We have to be on top of our game. We have to make sure that we are doing whatever we can do to be prepared for these winter months that are coming up. For one, food prices, they are still on the rise. And a lot of people have sent me emails while I was gone, and they are reporting that they're starting to see shortages in their stores on certain products. A lot of canned goods, frozen goods. Um, a lot of places, the fresh food is pretty good. And then in other places, people are reporting to me through email that, you know, a lot of their fresh food is not so fresh. It doesn't look so good. So we have to make sure that, you know, we are doing whatever we can do, sit back and really take a look at how we are doing things, how we're spending our money and how we are uh, trying to save wherever we can pinch every penny. We are on the verge of people going hungry and people freezing to death all over this world. It's already come out over in Europe that they are afraid because of the high price of fuel oil and everything else. People will not be able to afford it. People are not going to be able to afford a lot of the different things that they're going to need to survive the winter time. They're already forecasting over here in a lot of different areas. It's going to be a colder winter than normal. There's going to be a lot more snow. There's going to be more intense snowstorms. Down here in Florida, they're predicting it's supposed to be colder and wetter than normal. But I also want to make sure that people do understand the importance of probably putting money aside to buy fuel oil if you are fuel oil dependent. If you don't have another way of heating your home, which could be a very, very bad situation this year if you are on a very tight budget, especially a lot of you senior citizens or you people that are on social security that are on my channel that are community members. And I know there's quite a few of you out there. It's gonna be very hard. It's gonna be very difficult for a lot of people because they're forecasting these prices to be astronomically high anywhere between 30 and 50% higher than last year. So whatever you spent on fuel last year, tack on another 30 to 50%, depending on where the ball falls on the prices they wanna charge us, since they seem to be changing these all the time. There's a lot of um, things that are going on, like with the gas prices. Right now, the gas prices have been coming down in most general areas. Now, there's still a lot of places where it's over $4, but a lot of places it's $3 and under. And what is taking place with that is, is because they released so much of our reserve that we had to help bring these prices down. Once that oil is all filtered out of that system, all right, and unless they release more, which I don't think they should, because that's for our reserves. What's going to happen is you're going to see the prices of gasoline and diesel fuel go back up again. And that is one of the main reasons why you're seeing a lot of different companies like FedEx just announced yesterday that they're raising all their rates because they already see the writing on the wall. They're coming into the holiday season. The prices are going to start going back up on the diesel fuel and everything else. And they don't want to eat the costs. I don't know if UPS is going to follow with the same thing. Uh, the post office has had a rate increase not too long ago. And, um, you know, I mean, it's all part of the, it's all part of the show here, folks. Uh, basically, 
as they keep raising these interest rates and everything else, what they are trying to do is get the inflation back in control. And furthermore on that, what will happen is, is in return, they're going to turn around and that will help build the out of stock items, give them a chance to catch up. On the contrary, it's a two edged sword because then you're going to have all these products that are sitting there that nobody can afford because you're only going to be able to afford to buy what exactly you need, what you can, you know, afford is probably going to be your food, your utilities, which means however you're going to heat your home, whether it's natural gas, heat, uh, heating oil, uh, propane, electricity, or wood. And you got to have a roof over your head. You got to have a vehicle to drive to get to work, unless you live in a major city or something where you can train, you know, like mass transit or something like that. Those are type of things are what people are going to have to really concentrate on. We have to be very, very diligent in what we are doing at this point in time, folks. It is very, very important. We need to really be setting back and we need to be thinking about, okay, how can I save money? Number one, you can sit here and you can pull up on your little cell phones, all right? You can pull up on your cell phones and you can download any of the apps from any of the stores in your area. Just about every store out there has an app or a web page where you can see prices, sales, buy one, get ones, any of these type of things. And then you can make a determination on where the best place is for you to spend your money. Number two, you always want to be trying to buy the buy one, get ones. All right. That's a no brainer. It, it just boom. Always try to get the buy one, get ones on the products that you're going to use or eat. Obviously, if you're not going to use it and not going to eat it, don't buy it. But you have to be a very smart, thrifty shopper nowadays. You have to look at it this way. Your hard earned dollar there isn't buying what it used to buy even a year ago. What you used to be able to go to the store and purchase, you just can't do anymore. So you really have to sit here and think about the things that you can do on a daily basis just to survive. How you can stretch that dollar out, how you can make it work, and how you and your family can live a comfortable life. And you're still trying to make sure that there's food on a table. You're putting food away for a rainy day, prepping, and all the little necessities that come along with having a family. The biggest thing that I want people to take away from this video is, is we have to be very diligent with our money over the next five to six months. And we got to get through this winter time. Maybe we can get out of this hole where people aren't hurting as bad. A lot of people don't believe that that's going to take place until 2024. They think 2023 is still going to be a very bad year for the economy, inflation, recession, um, food prices, food shortages, the whole nine yards. We have to wait and see how this is going to play out. It's almost like predicting where the hurricane's going to go. If you think about it, folks, all right. We got all these spaghetti models. We got all these people, um, you know, this person, this guy has his own opinion. This person has his opinion. This person, you know, they're all, you know, professional opinions, but who's right, who's wrong and who's just guessing. It's like watching all those spaghetti models I talked about with the hurricane and we're trying to pinpoint exactly, okay, where's this thing going to go? Um, who's going to get landfall? You see what I'm saying, folks? So we have to kind of wait and see, but we can't change anything. 
None of it. We can't change where the hurricane's going to go. We can't change uh, which way the food prices are going to go. We can't change how the inflation is going to, if it's going to start coming down and they'll maybe put a, put a little ease on them raising the interest rates again that they're already talking about doing before the end of the year. We just don't know where this is going to take place and we don't know how this is going to affect everybody. It's like we're just along for the ride. Is 